it's good to see Ace Ventura is going back. Thank you, Godzilla. Now, tomorrow morning, this Saturday, Aardvark is back on BBC One from half past seven with Kirsten and Otis. And there's more from that new cartoon, Sea Bear and Jamal. And if you didn't see it last week, here's a little taster of the bear with attitude. I'm not sleeping on that pile of toys anymore. It's bad on my back. Where'd you get that? I got this bed from a king. An Egyptian king? No, BB King, right after his pickle pig feet tour. Ah, this is the life. Jamal, ow! I told you a million times to keep those drawers closed. Hey, who forgot to pay the light bill? You can see it tomorrow morning at 5 to 9 on the Saturday Hour. That's on BBC One. Kirsten will be here later to tell us more about tomorrow's show. And there's the mask on the way. But right now, Bailey Kipper's POV and Robin finds out that talk ain't cheap. Bailey! Bailey Kipper? Are you still up in the attic? Spyball number 208. Good. Spyball number 311. Cool. The Bailey Eyeser 2000. Operational. And action. It's Bailey Kippers. People need to know. It's secret video. My sister swears she can't live without one. There's one found in every home. But beware. They'll suck you in and destroy your life. In our dimension, we call it the telephone. Operator, operator, the line's dead. It all started the day before Robin's 14th birthday. So stay on the line, because now it's playback time. Talk a G. I hate to say I told you so, so I don't. Not too often anyway. But I might just have to make an exception this time. The thing is, my sister has been dying for her own phone. Try it, Candy. You can't beat me. Ha, 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 ha. I know what she can handle. Ooh. And I know there is no way she can handle too much of a good thing. Robin's the kind of person that gets a big box of chocolates on Valentine's Day. Mmm, my favorite. February 15th. She's got a stomach ache. You can set your clock by it. There's no way she can handle her own phone. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow! Blair, tomorrow isn't just my birthday. It, it represents a whole rite of passage thing. Yeah, I've dropped 700 hints to Le Paros that I want my own phone. 763. But who's counting? So you think they'll get the message? Hey. Ow! Ow! Stop that! Eric, honey, would you put this in the fridge? I'm sure Robin's gonna want her melon nice and cold tomorrow. Burgers are almost ready. Robin always gets everything she wants, even when it's not her birthday. Well, that's just not true, honey. Put it away, please. We have rules about favoritism. Where I have on my own. I've dropped like a million hints. They've just got to give me a phone for my birthday. Uh, almost birthday, girl. Mm. Phone of your own is out of the question. O U T out. Gee, I'm sorry you're not getting your own phone. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> I'm getting it all right. Not for Mom and Dad, you're not. Dad just said If that... they don't get it for me, I'm getting it for me. Oh, yeah? What are you going to use for money? It's a secret. Tell us. Sorry. It's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> no problem. So, Robin had a plan to get her own phone. A secret plan. I don't like secrets. Well other people's secrets. Honey, it's still not straight. Vic, I'm going by your pencil marks. Before going to bed, Robin dropped a few last hints about what she wanted for her birthday. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Call me in the morning. Oh, I hope my special birthday breakfast doesn't hang you up. I'm hooked on phonics. 
Good night, sweetheart. Tomorrow's the big day. You're still not getting a phone, but you're funny. <laughs> I don't get it. Why is everything Robin says always funny? <laughs> Robin didn't look very disappointed. Obviously, she was relying on her secret plan. I'll just switch to the closet cam and find out what she's up to. No, don't do that! I can't see! Hey, do you mind? She blocked my closet, Spyball. She's off to the bathroom. Her secret plan was somewhere in her bedroom. Knowing Robin, she'll be in the bathroom for one minute and 20 seconds, which gives me enough time to clear the Spyball. Call it Mission Possible. It was easy. All I had to do was sneak into Robin's room, clear the closet cam, get back into my attic, and watch Robin. But somehow I miscalculated. Robin was on her way back in. I had to hide in her closet. I was trapped. However, the one good thing was Robin went right for her secret plan. To my favorite niece, Robin. A good one's birthday card. Use this money however you want. Look, Rita, a hundred bag of Okay, you got the cash, smarty pants. I <laughs> never get Dad's permission. Well, I didn't get a lot of sleep in Robin's closet that night, but. I did get a lot of reading done, and I had to hand it to her. Robin has really done her homework. Her phone homework. Check this out. Phone brochures. A chart showing allowance figures. Projected income, including Uncle Norm's birthday gift. Use this money however you want. Robin went to sleep thinking that getting her phone was like a slam dunk. Unbelievable. Robin has finally decided to take on the folks. She's going for the phone. Robin's birthday breakfast was almost over. She had opened all her gifts. No phone. I sneaked a spy ball on the kitchen table. I just had to record the way Robin was going to wrangle a phone for her birthday. No phone? Birthday's not over yet. Mm. Eric was feeling a little lost in the shuffle. I just don't know where I fit in. Wow! Look, everybody! A hundred dollars from Uncle Norm. Give me a break. It's not fair! Whatever Robin wants, Robin gets. This is such a surprise. You can knock me over with a feather. Get ready for an Oscar-winning performance. Five. Four, three, two, action. You know, Mom and Dad, this is a very timely gift. How's that? <laughs> Dad, Mom, it's time I become a responsible human being. No kidding! Eric, Robin has a floor? It's okay, Dad. I'm focused. Look, I need my own phone, and I'm prepared to make it happen. If you'll take a look at these financial reports, <laughs> You'll see that thanks to Uncle Norm and my ability to save up my money for the past six months, I can afford my own line. Uh, Robin, it's not about money. It's not? Huh? Well, not entirely. And kids grow up too fast. You know, when I was a kid... Hey, there's nobody to play with around here. And now we resume coverage of Dad's I Never Had a Phone When I Was a Kid speech already in progress. Having a phone is a big responsibility, and I'm not sure you're ready to handle it. But, Dad, shouldn't learning responsibility start at home? Under keen, watchful parental eyes? I have my eye on you, Robin. Robin, where are you? I, I promise I'll keep up my schoolwork, and, and I won't let it get in the way of chores around the house. Plus, we can use it for emergencies. And not that it matters at all, but most of my friends have their own line. And did I mention, it's my birthday? Oh, Don. Don. I don't know. There she goes, the hug. Girls have this thing with their dads. 
First the hug, then, if he hasn't folded yet, she goes for the cow eyes. <coughs> now comes the eyelash move. Old Dad's weakening. Now comes the kiss on top of the forehead. Total elapsed time of 23 seconds from an absolute no to a maybe. She's going for the kill. I promise, Daddy, you won't be sorry. Eric looked like he was about to blow breakfast. It was a little hard to watch. Carmen had my dad wrapped around her little finger since the day she was born. But the weird thing is, she's only one of thousands, millions, girls exactly like her. Hi, my name is Robin, and... Uh, and I manipulate my parents. Hi, Robin! I don't know, Vicky. Maybe Robin has a point. Right on schedule. My clockwork. Oh, all right. Yes! Surprise, surprise. Yes! 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 Simply amazing. I don't believe this. Robin's a favorite because she's the oldest. By the time I grow up, the only word left will be no. 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 No, no. 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 Dad, admit it. You and Mom like Robin best. Eric, that's simply not true. Okay. How come Robin has her own room and her own phone? But she pays for it with her own birthday money. Big deal. It's not easy being the oldest, Eric. It takes guts. Yeah, yeah. Robin always says she's like your little lab rat. Well, Robin's wrong. I'm your giant lab rat. Well, she is. Every day she turns new corners. Explores new territory, paving the way for those who will follow in her footsteps. What are you talking about, Dad? I'm talking phone. I'm talking curfew. I'm talking driving. I'm talking dating. Everything Robin does now will smooth your path for later on. Why don't you take it easy on her? I knew you liked her best! Robin's room became phone central. It's like the phone was becoming part of her body. Hello? Phone company, right? Good, good. Listen, I'm getting bombarded with a trillion phone calls. I guess you could say, <laughs> I'm popular. What's the deal on call waiting? So, that's a large pepperoni. Oh, and this time, don't forget the pineapple. So then, what's the bottom line on call forwarding? And then she said, Oh, no, wait. He said it first, and then Wendy repeated it to Jackie, who blamed it on Ryan. I swear, Allison, it is so great. I can't imagine life without it. Did I tell you I'm getting a conference line? Shauna, we can't both wear the same thing to Todd's party. So, I'll wear the blue. Hey, Eric, give me the new phone book in the kitchen. Shauna says I'm listed. Look. Just because you've got your own princess phone doesn't make you queen of the world. Get it yourself. That was it. We're getting his new cut of his upcoming CD, Robin, Queen of the World. And here's a medley of some of Eric's greatest hits I cut together. Why is everything Robin says always funny? <laughs> hey, this isn't fair. She's got more money. I don't believe this. Robin's the favorite because she's older. Don't look at me, guys. I swear I told her. Robin always gets everything she wants. Everything she wants. Everything she wants. Now, me and my bro don't want to sound mean, but let's face it, dude. She might as well be queen, cuz. Robin always gets everything she wants. Everything she wants. Everything she wants. I swear she's gonna make me blow breakfast. That's a gap. Directory assistance. I need two more listings. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. For the past month, Robin's been holed up in a room. We hardly ever see her. Okay. We see her at meals, but between me and you, she's leading a double life. 
I call her the sister with two sides. Uh, I'm on the phone with Blair. I just came by to say hi. Remember me? I'm your mom. Oh, we've got this excellent study system worked out for the math final tomorrow. Hey, couldn't do without the phone. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to get between you and your logarithms. Ooh. I'll see you at dinner. I'll try. Thanks, Mom. You still there? Great. I need a listing for Vince Garrity on Shamrock Drive. And then... Robin wasn't studying or getting much sleep. And she was becoming really cranky. She knew she was on a nosedive. But she was trying to hide it from Mom and Dad. Waiter! You slobber all over my sheets! Look at this! Look at this! <clears throat> Look at this precious little doggy woggy we call waiter. <laughs> and now, students, I give you Alexander Graham Bailey. The overuse of the telephone has caused severe nasty changes in the young girl's personality. Notice how the mouth curves downward? Not at all pretty. And the creepy imprints on the ear due to the tiny phone holes. And most disturbing is the big, black, ugly bags under the eyes. This case, my friends, is most serious and must be dealt with immediately. Thank you. And here is your bill. Day at school. How much longer do you think you could pull off this little show of yours? Uh, excuse me? Admit it. This phone thing is way bigger than you are. Hold it, hold it. First off, why is Anthony Tucci calling you on my line? I told him he could if the old one's busy. Then cough up some cash and pay for half my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, no phone until all your homework is done. Thanks for reminding me, Dad. What was that? Teenager. A teenager, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I don't think I like the way Robin's been acting lately. Who does? Well, Kip, just remember how sweet she used to be. And knowing your heart, she will be that way again one day. I blame the phone. <laughs> I blame hormones. Were you this bad with your parents? <laughs> I was worse. Then I blame you. Oh! Blair, I, I, I can't believe this. This has never happened to me in math before. It's going for a closer look. Blair, it's, it's like I'm turning into someone else. <laughs> What's a logarithm? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Justine. Oh, hold on. Someone just looked in. Hello? We've already discussed this. I don't want a second line. Justine, I'm back. Sorry. Not again. Hold on, be right back. Hello? We've already discussed this. I don't want my carpets cleaned. How'd you get this number? Hello, Justine? Sorry. This is a nightmare. At least before my family screamed my calls. Oh, not again. Hello? Yes? What did I win? Oh, Anthony, is this you trying to be funny? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Justine? Justine? Oh, stop it! Just stop reading! I can't take it anymore! I hate to say it, but I told you so. You'd better have a solid gold explanation, young lady. But, but the woman on the phone said the phone bill only ran $15 a month. Robin, that's just the base charge. Yeah. yeah. Throw unassorted options, directory assistance, calls outside the area code, caller ID, hours yapping. These things add up. Oh, really? And how do you know all this if you haven't seen the bill? How do I know? Come on, eyeballs, get those rings. Looky, guess. 
At the rate you're going, you're gonna have to use up grandma's savings bond, give up extra clothes, do more chores, and add yard work to that list, just to break even, honey. Your mother's right. You'll have to give up everything. No way am I giving up everything in life for a dumb telephone. No. Dad, Mom, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Dad. <laughs> Dad, you are right. Having a phone is a big responsibility, and I'm not ready to handle it. Robin, it isn't easy to admit when you're wrong. Yeah, isn't this like the first time ever? How come Robin's never wrong? It's not fair. You just like girls better. Maybe I should just change my stupid name to Erica. Erica. Change my stupid name to Erica. Erica. No freedom is a choice in America. So my broken change is stupid name to Erica. And since Robin never ever says she's wrong, this funky tune is sure to end up a number one song, Big Sister. Oh, yeah. The girl is wrong, Big Sister. Down. Girl is wrong, Big Sister. Robin wanted the phone yanked out of her room immediately. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Kipper. We ah! have a winner, Bob. <laughs> Mom and Dad had won. You'd think winning would be the kind of happily ever after parents live for. But then, think again. The weirdest thing happened. And I mean weird. Dad, uh... Giving up the phone will be the easy way out. Keeping the phone will be a good lesson in fiscal responsibility and learning to set your own limits. But I want your limits. I can't believe I'm saying this. Sorry, Pumpkin. We understand how you feel. But your dad and I have given this a lot of thought and we're standing firm. Robin wanted a phone, Robin got a phone, Robin couldn't handle the phone. My parents were making her keep the phone. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. That's a wrap. Cheers, Bailey. He's back next Friday afternoon, a little bit later at five past four. Now, time for more of your easy PC entries, where you could win your very own computer. Liam Jeffries, who's eight from Essex, has faxed in saying, in the future, I think computers should make a robot to do all of the housework, especially for my bedroom, because my mum's getting fed up of tidying up my room all the time. Yes, or yes, no, back to the bedroom with that. Thank you very much, Liam, for your entry. I've got another one here. This is very good indeed. This has been drawn really well by Ewan Anderson, who's 13 years old from Ipswich in Suffolk.